Hello everyone, my name is Zach Mueller, and today I just didn't feel like doing the intro. Hey, I'm Marco Tampest. I'm David Putland. I'm Luis De Matos. And this is the Essential Magic Conference 2011. I'm Zach Miller and you're watching The Insider. Thanks to Luis Dematos, David Brentland, Marco Tempest, and JB for filming that little intro for me. I could not have done it better myself. I mean, I, I probably could have done it a little better myself because I can pronounce my own name correctly. But um, you guys are in Portugal, so it's cooler. This week has been a little slow on magic-related news, but regardless, we're going to jump right into it. Yesterday, the first episode of Street Magician Dynamo's TV special premiered in the UK. Now, if you watched last week's episode, you know my feelings towards Dynamo and the fact that the TV series is called Magician Impossible is not making me feel any better. In magic news, there are rumors that the UK TV channel ITV will possibly be canceling their Saturday night lineup. The lineup includes Penn and Teller's Fool Us, The Marriage Ref, and Pop Star to Opera Star. I've gotta have that wrong. It's gotta be Opera Star to Pop Star, right? Nope, I was right. Pop Star to Opera Star. Strangely doesn't sound very appealing. Now this is just a rumor and ITV even denies it, but the ratings are not looking very good as Fool Us dropped in about 400,000 viewers from the previous week. Let's all just keep our fingers crossed because if I'm being honest, the one thing I look forward to at the end of the week is going home on a Saturday night instead of hanging out with friends and watching The Marriage Rev. It's my one guilty pleasure, do not take it away from me. In slightly happier news, EMC 2011 is finally in session. The conference started yesterday and has continued streaming throughout yesterday, throughout today, and continuing over into tomorrow. Even if you have not registered yet, I highly encourage you to do so. You still have the entire rest of tomorrow to watch the live streaming lectures, performances, and talks. And even if you've missed the past few days, if you register, you can watch every single session online at your leisure. It's pretty ridiculous. Yesterday I watched as much as I could, but unfortunately I missed that first session about an after hour the session aired I could watch it completely at my leisure streaming from my computer this is the future the amount of information I got from just yesterday's sessions was definitely worth the $90 price tag alone not to mention that you'll get a 6 DVD set sent to your house a couple months after this convention is done strangely I can't think of any other magic conference that does that it's a pretty big steal. No, I think it's either a pretty big deal or it's a steal I don't think it can be a pretty big steal it's not dramatically correct in any case, it's worth it. Last week, the online magazine The Examiner released a rave review of Dan White's special The Supernaturalist and has said what everybody has been saying. I hope Discovery Channel turns this into a series and not just a special. And I wholeheartedly agree, I would absolutely love to see this special turn into a series. But the one suggestion I have is if they turn this into a series, it might get a little boring with just Dan as the magician. I love you, Dan, but it, it might might be good to bring a sidekick into it you know like a, a younger magician apprentice you know maybe like 16 um hipster v-neck uh faux hawk hosts the insider it's just a suggestion obviously i'm joking it was just an idea but seriously dan think about it last week i asked you all what trick would you do if you could go on fool us with penn and teller and here were some of your responses if i were on fool us i would make penn and teller's head switch places I mean, that's a neat idea, but honestly, there's no point to that. I guess it's kind of funny, but not to the point where I would like Photoshop a picture of Penn and Teller's head switch places so that I could make use of that comment. Definitely not. So you would go all the way to the UK to perform a trick on Fool Us just so you could go to Vegas? Ha ha ha. Okay, I guess that would be a little ridiculous because I can kind of just drive there. I mean, I can't drive there because I don't have a permit or a license, but I could get someone to drive me there. Or I could just fly, it's like 49 bucks and it takes like 45 minutes. That should actually be like a Vegas ad, get to Vegas in 45 minutes for 45 bucks. It's like a great idea. I'm getting way too off track. This contest is unfair to people who have a life. Yep. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your question of the day, which is, who's been your favorite EMC presenter and why? For me, it's a cross between Lou Chen and JB. Not because JB's my boss and I'm trying to kiss up to him, but uh, I actually really enjoyed his speech. Also, I'm, I'm trying to get a raise, so there's that. Before watching his presentation, I had never heard of Lu Chen before, and yet he performed the most amazing and fooling any card at any number that I have ever seen, and I can pretty safely say it fooled every single magician in that room, which is pretty hard to do. Leave a comment down below, let us know what you think, and I will see you next Friday. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there after the M311 logo. Yes, it's that time again to tell you that I've hidden something somewhere throughout the video. Only the last two times it was way too easy, so this time I hid three different things that when put together will form a message that if you leave in the comments below, you will get, um, let's see, um, 
deck of brown wins. This is just one, one card of brown wins, but I do have decks of them. I mean, they're not in my house, they're at the 311 warehouse that we have stored, stashed away, but you won't get this one per se. I mean, I could send you this one if you wanted, to. I don't know why you'd want just one six of hearts. Leave it in the comment below, and you might win. This has been a terrible, terrible ending. I'll see you next Friday. I'm, I'm just gonna stop.